So, I've only got nine minutes. Um, because I have to go and drop my dog off somewhere. Um, but I'm also streaming, so, um, this is not going to be edited. Uh, this is just going to be raw footage that I'm uploading. Um, so, welcome to another video on this channel, um, where I'm going to be talking about how-tos and all that stuff with, um, just about everything with safety razors, with games, you know, all that stuff. So for the first thing with this video, I'm going to kind of be showing you um, different types of things. Well, a few different types of things. Like how to load a safety razor, uh, whether it's a butterfly open or a three piece. Uh, and then I'm going to show you a razor itself. So, um, so right down here, I already have a straight razor and I just wanted to kind of show this off because I wanted to show you guys that this is something else that you could use instead of a safety razor. Um, so most people will hold it like this or like this, you know, or however. Now this is a little difficult for me because I'm not used to doing this at, as an overhead, <laughs> but uh, it's a little hard to tell because I don't really have much as of right now, but I do have hair on my arms. So when I want to test out how sharp a blade is, especially with a straight razor, I'm going to be getting a new one soon because this one is not how uh, how it should be but um i just test it on my arm and i see if it cuts um now it's it's difficult it's difficult to figure out how sharp a blade is unless you test it um so this is going to be for another video, but uh, probably in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to strop slash hone a straight razor. Um, but this video is going to be about safety razors. So, no, so you pretty much only have two types. You have a three piece or a butterfly open. Butterfly open, uh, butterfly tops normally have uh like kind of like a like a twistable thing at the bottom so you twist it and it opens so that you can put the razor in there other ones like this you hold it and you unscrew it so that it becomes three pieces so if you're loading a blade into a three piece you want to go ahead and get the blade, put it in, put the other piece on top, and then screw it into place. Sorry for the squeaks. This, uh, the this, I don't use this razor often. Uh, but when you screw it in, then you want to check the blade to make sure that it's about the same. Uh, amount of blade showing on each side um, and you can always tell if this piece is on right because the combs are supposed to be down so when you're ready to change out the blade you just unscrew it take out the blade if you don't feel comfortable grabbing the blade you could always just on a table just go ahead and turn it upside down and kind of shake it off a little bit or just gently take it off and place it down. And then you can go ahead and put it back, back together. And then you're all good. <clears throat> so another one would be the butterfly open. This is also adjustable, which I'll, I'll show uh, about it in a little bit. 
So you want to twist it to open it. Take the blade, put it in there, twist it back shut. And that's all you do. And if you need to adjust the blade, just loosen it a little bit and then tighten it back up. Like that was the first time I've actually ever had to adjust the razor. But if you, I showed this in the last video. Um, actually, you only give me a second. All right. So I did, I uh, changed some settings to where I can control my camera. Um, so I can do the focus like that. So if you could see the numbers, uh, and then the arrow, the numbers are how aggressive the blade is going to be. So if you want it at a number one, then you move it, you move where the arrow is pointing at number one. And what it does is it raises or lowers the combs. Uh, and that uh, it changes how much blade is actually being used. So if you really pay attention, I'm gonna move. this knob. And if you really pay attention you can see that it's actually moving on both sides so right now it's at 10 which is max which is the most aggressive shave that you can get I believe um, but I started off on one and then I went ahead and went to number two Two when I was more comfortable and as of right now I'm actually on four and I just shaved last night and I shaved on four Do that. Uh, and I shaved on four and let me tell you my face is smooth so you got Two different kind of razors you got a three piece and uh one with a butterfly top and that is how you load a double-edged safety razor into a safety razor um double-edged safety razor blade <laughs> into a safety razor is what i meant to say so what i'll Next, what I'll mention is never grab by the sides. Always grab at the tops. Or you can grab it like this. Uh, when you're putting the blade in. Because if you grab it and hold it like this, because of how sharp they are, you will cut your fingers. Um, so normally, I either hold it like this or like this. And I'll just lay the blade right on top and close it. Uh, and then in the next video, I think what I'm going to do is show you guys how to uh, take care of a safety razor and how to strop and hone a safety razor or a straight razor. So another note before I do go, uh, I do not keep this stuff in the bathroom, uh, especially because where I live, I live in Florida. So I had a straight razor uh, a couple months ago and it, it was rusting because I kept it in the bathroom and because of the humidity and the water and everything. So I ended up um, leaving everything in here from now on. Because uh, when I went to get the, the rust off of my old safety or my old straight razor, uh, the metal on the blade actually cracked but it, it was also a cheap straight razor so i'm gonna leave a link to my product the products that i used in this video uh down below uh and then you especially got these now this it's really hard to tell but that this top one is a feather blade from what i understand feather blades are the sharpest double-edged razors that you can buy for a safety razor 
I'm sure they're sharper, but to my knowledge, these are the sharpest. Um, but this pack that I have came with, I think, 18 different razor blades. And I've used all of them in this. Uh, and it was only because this was adjustable. I did shave uh, last week with this. This was the first safety razor that I ever got. And the blades that came with it were Astra premium something uh and i cut my neck really really bad but that was also the very first time i've ever used a safety razor uh this is the gentleman john safety razor it's really hard to see i apologize um but it's the gentleman john you know whatever <laughs> uh safety razor it came with a kit it came with a bowl uh, a shaving bowl, a brush, uh, shave soap, and a razor, and extra blades. This I got by itself. It's just a Vikings blade. Um, this is called the Emperor. Uh, they do have another one that's black and gold. So, all depends on your taste and what you want. But, anyway, so that's going to be it for this episode. Um, so, that is how you load a safety razor uh, blade into a actual safety razor. Um, so like I said, the next episode I do will probably showing, will probably be showing you guys how to properly take care of um, a safety razor and how to strop and hone a uh, stray razor. So that'll be more of a lengthier video. That'll be something I'll do cuts in and all that. Um, so yeah, anyway, if you guys enjoy, please leave a rate, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, go check out my other channels down below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later.